Going back to Chernobyl, that really resonated. It has had a huge impact. You have the Maria Sharapova Foundation. Right. Tell us about how you focus on trying to give back to Chernobyl specifically. Yeah, since it was something that, you know, obviously has a big part in my life and um, something that could have affected me and my family in many right. ways. Um, we were very fortunate that, um, you know, we evacuated the area and we left. Um, you know, there's still a lot of damage that has that has happened there and that is, um, you know, still evolving and, and it's still not over. And I think the main, um, you know, my main goal um, in the beginning when I started working with the uh, Chernobyl affected areas was kind of raising awareness in those areas that although that this incident happened so many years ago um, and, you know, many people have really forgotten that to this day so many people and so many lives and, and children especially are affected. Um, and that was, you know, that was my goal in the beginning and, and now I'm actually physically doing things and, um, and getting really involved hands-on, which has been really important. I took a trip last year after Wimbledon over there and, and got to see the projects that we're working on and little areas here and there. I mean, it's, it's hard, you know, it's hard for those people to, to realize that there's so much more to life than just depression and alcohol to get through things. And, um, and yeah, and, and a lot of families are sick because of the milk that they drank years ago that's affecting their children and um, you know, just kind of a snowball and you, you want to give them those positive thoughts and energy that um, we're, we're trying to help. We'll talk about positive thoughts and energy. I've always said that you are one of the best competitors in sports, not women's sports, not tennis, all of sports. Thank you. Where does that hunger and motivation come from? Is that something that's genetic, you think, or is that something that you've just yeah. learned or you just want to win that badly? Um, I think that in, in life and growing up, I never just got everything on a you know, on, on a nice plate and said, you know, here you go, here's your, here's your free ticket to the United States, or um, here's your free lesson with this coach, or um, here's this and here's that. And, um, and my family and I, I, I felt like, always had to work for those things. And I've always thought that, you know, the, the reason why I, I was able to achieve so much and the reason why I, I feel like I, I'm able to stay humble is because I was never really afraid of what would happen if I took the chance or my family took the chance to try new things, to, to try to go, you know, in a different direction because I, I enjoyed the life that we kind of we had before. It was a normal life in Russia, it was a normal, I mean, I had friends there, and but then you have this new opportunity trying new things, and I was just never, I was never fearful of going back to what I had, and my family wasn't either, and we really, you know, we, we even though we spent so much time apart, the moments together were really important, and yeah, I mean, I, I grew around them. I learned a lot from my dad, who was, you know, so dedicated and so tough, and, you know, he knew when to push me at the right times, and then my mom, who could care less about tennis, and just... So a nice offset. A nice offset. Yeah. I mean, she was the, the ballet and the, the, um, the classical music and, um, and all the literature coming from Russia, and she would bring it, and I would do all my homework. I had to finish it, so that was her side of things, so I had a nice balance. You also maintain a deep connection to your fans. You the, have the most friends on Facebook, 5.1 million friends on That's Facebook. Crazy. How important is it for you to stay in touch with them? It's really important, and I've learned that it's it's even more important to be connected on a you know on a constant basis because they want to hear from you. They want to know what's going on. They see you as an athlete. They see you doing shoots and they're at carpet and they see pictures. They see interviews. But sometimes they really want to hear from you and um, and we, you have to say, say to them. Um, so it's it's a lot more personal. I enjoy it. I, I try to update it as much as I can. But it's really amazing that I have so many. <laughs> a state of women's game right now. Yeah. Kind of open. Yeah, I mean, I and you're back say, up to five in the world. You're back in the yeah. conversation. You've fought so hard. Yeah, Wozniacki's won. Great, she hasn't yeah. won a slam. She's under criticism. You're yeah. U.S. all heading towards the U.S. Open where yeah, you've won I before. Know. I know, and you know, probably pro a lot of these girls have a lot to say about Kudo's win at Wimbledon, and yeah. um, I mean, she was kind of the unexpected one as well, and playing such amazing tennis. So it's it's really open. Yeah. Maria, thank you very much. Thanks a lot.